Welcome back to WTOL 11 Your Day. The month of June is winding down, which means Independence Day is coming. And if you're a fireworks fan, there are plenty of shows all over Northwest Ohio. One of the bigger ones right here in the Glass City. Toledo Mayor Wade Kapsikavich joins us this morning with an invitation for you. Good morning, Mayor. Thanks for joining us today. Good morning, happy to be here. You know, before we get to the fireworks show, we have a lot going on in the days leading up to it. It kicks off tomorrow at Promenade Park with that Prometica Live concert series. We just spoke with a member of one of the opening acts and he's a Toledo native. So what a great opportunity for, for some local folks to get on the big stage, huh? Yeah, especially with how uh, large an audience we anticipate this year in general. Uh, you know, last year we broke all kinds of records, and yes, we had uh, Gwen Stefani in the lead up to the Solheim Cup. But in general, our attendance is, was way up uh, last year, and we expect that to continue. So whether it is someone local, uh, like uh, uh, who you had on from uh, Killer Queen, or whomever it may be, it's going to be a big crowd, a lot of excitement. Um, and on a personal level, it's never a bad thing to hear a little Bohemian Rhapsody uh, <laughs> and other Freddie Mercury uh, tune. So come on down. Yeah, it's going to be a big crowd, I anticipate. And we've got a Mud Hens game as well. And this follows a big weekend last week as well. I was downtown last weekend at a Mud Hens game, and there was the Mud Hens. There was the concert. There was um, a, a concert at the Huntington Center. There was the gymnastics. There's a lot happening in downtown, isn't there? No, there really is, uh, and I know it's a cliche, but it's true. There, there is, there's never been more happening uh, in downtown Toledo, at least not in my lifetime. And there's more on the way. I mean, big picture, uh, we've just started, um, you know, pouring $200 million into the riverfront for the Glass City Metro Park, which will extend from bridge to bridge uh, as, uh, as much as there is to do now in about two to three years, it's going to uh, look different and have even more exciting options on the riverfront. But this weekend, I mean, not only do we have the big fireworks show on Saturday, the Mud Hens again are in town all uh, weekend, and, and they're going to have um, fireworks associated with their game as well. So uh, a lot of options downtown, and it's one of the reasons that, uh, you know, there's so much momentum and positivity in Toledo right now. You know, you mentioned the Glass City Metro Park and all of that work there on the riverfront and extending into East Toledo, too. So uh, let's talk a little bit about the importance of bolstering this downtown and what it does for the rest of the city. What, what are the plans for, for other parts of the city? Well, as exciting as the momentum downtown is, it is true that, um, you know, folks... Uh, um, want to see investments in the neighborhoods as well. Downtown is important, but it needs to extend to the neighborhoods for everyone to, you know, to feel a part of the momentum. So it is true that East Toledo is going to benefit from uh, what we're doing in the, or what the Metro Parks are doing along the river. In fact, Front Street, when you think about it now, is riverfront property. Um, you know, those of us who've lived in Toledo our whole lives maybe would never think of uh, Front Street is riverfront property, but frankly, that's what it is now. With everything cleared out, that, that becomes a very desirable place to be and, uh, and a neighborhood to build from. But across the city, we're making investments with the American Rescue Plan that will benefit every part of this city. We're resurfacing more miles of road than we ever have before uh, in this city. We set the all-time record last year. We're going to break it this year. Um, uh, tens of millions of dollars of improvements in city parks. Um, you know, we're building a new YMCA. Uh, so there's, so the, downtown's great, um, but we want to make sure that neighborhoods aren't forgotten as well. And especially through the American Rescue Plan, uh, you know, we're making historic investments in neighborhood parks, streets, uh, and the other infrastructure uh, in and, and especially youth programming. Um, the youth programming works best when it happens in the neighborhoods. Well, we uh, are tripling the amount of investment in our youth this summer. And in fact, there are over 100 programs uh, for kids this year. Over 100, almost all of them are free. Uh, everything from sports to enrichment. You know, you want to learn how to code. You want to learn how to do a podcast. You want to learn how to ride a horse. <laughs> we have that too. Everything. Uh, almost 93 of the 100 programs are totally free. Um, I know sometimes people think, ah, well, there's nothing for kids to do. The 
not this year, not anymore. There's plenty for kids to do. We need people to take advantage of it because that also helps build neighborhoods and, 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 and the fabric we want. And I'm glad you mentioned that because I was going to ask you about that youth programming because we do know people are still concerned about violence in the city and it has been a couple weeks since we have had a homicide here, which is great. Um, but I was wondering if people are signing up, if they are taking advantage of that, that youth programming and if not, how can they do that? Yeah, well, you're right about uh, gun violence. It's obviously a concern uh, for everyone, and it's our top priority. Actually, knock on wood, as, as you just mentioned, you know, we've had a pretty good um, stretch here, really uh, almost going back over the last two months. So the last two months, we've had just a handful uh, of incidents. The numbers, today's the last day of the month, um, so you, this is a good time to compare at the six-month uh, you know, threshold uh, where we rank up to previous years. Actually, w we really have made some improvements on crime and gun violence, and I think people can feel it. Nonetheless, a big part of that is the fact that, you know, kids have positive things to do. So please go to our website, and if uh, you go to the website, you, it'll the links will take you uh, to a table where you can see which programs are available, how to sign up. Um, people are taking advantage of it uh, in record numbers, uh, but there's even more opportunity of, uh, out there. So just go to our website. It's even a dummy like me can figure out how to <laughs> point and click to get there. It's pretty easy to find uh, find the info and to sign up. Very good, Mayor. Thank you so much for your time this morning. We appreciate it, and I hope you have a, a great holiday weekend and enjoy those fireworks and all those activities as well. You too, and let's hope the, the good news we've seen the last couple months on uh, uh, lower crime and violence continues. We're yes. in a good place. Absolutely. All right, Mayor, thank you so much. Have a great day.